Hi, this is a video on how to factory reset this PixLink 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi repeater. So if you've forgotten the settings or somebody set an admin password and you can't get into it um, and you need to go back to default settings, here's how you do it. In my example, which is going to be difficult to show um, because the laptop is so far away from the device, but in my example here, I've got on the left side, I've given it a custom IP address. Uh, what's more interesting and probably fairly standard for these kind of badly made Chinese devices is it's also still responding on the original IP address. Um, so that device currently has two IP addresses somehow. Uh, and for example, imagine I've forgotten the password. So I'm going to factory reset this. And to do so, you need to hold down the WPS button Definitely holding it down for 30 seconds does do the reset, but I would like to see how little you need to hold it down for for it to trigger a reset. So I'm going to press it now. That's seven seconds. I'm going to let go. The Wi-Fi light has gone off. It stopped responding on the computer on both of the IP addresses, and now it is only responding on its default IP address. So if we go over and look at the computer, now we've got the right hand side, the 7.234 is its default IP address, and that is working and responding. On the left side, we've got the 1.234, which is no longer responding. So that's how you factory reset this PixLink 2.4 gigahertz wireless repeater. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much. Just as a note, if you press it for too short a period of time, this wireless light and the far right hand WPS light starts flashing. So that's in WPS mode rather than factory reset mode. So if I hold it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then let go. The factory reset mode, uh, that light should go out, come back on, these go out as well. Um, and then you're back into factory default where the IP address is 192.168. Dot seven dot two three four, and the login password for the web interface is admin, which is also written on the back of the device here. So you've got one nine two dot one six eight dot seven dot two three four, and password admin. Hopefully that helps.